As we become more reliant on the internet and mobile computers to do so many of our daily duties, the problem of cybersecurity becomes more present. As a result, there is a greater need for the cybersecurity engineers. Cybersecurity is an enthralling field of information technology that is suitable for those who appreciate challenges. The field is rife with opportunities. Hi all, this is Tanishka and I welcome you to this session. Here, I'm going to show you why cybersecurity engineer as a career is a fantastic choice. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any updates. Also, if you're interested in any online training certification, do check out the link given in the description. With that, let's get started. So, first we quickly have a glance on today's agenda. We start with understanding why become a cybersecurity engineer, followed by who is a cybersecurity engineer, their job descriptions and their skills, and lastly, we discuss how to become a cybersecurity engineer and how should we start the career path. Why become a cybersecurity engineer? Let us first analyze the current and forthcoming trends that are driving the demand for cybersecurity engineers today. So there are six most recent trends which have resulted in an increase in the need for cybersecurity engineers. At first, increasing ransomware attacks. Ransomware isn't a new threat. It has been around for about decades, but it is a growing one. It is estimated that there are now over 120 separate families of ransomware and hackers have become very adaptive at hiding malicious code. Next, we have remote working cybersecurity risk. For example, did you know work from home possesses a new cybersecurity risk and is one of the most talked about new trends in cybersecurity? This is because home offices are often less protected than centralized offices. Next is the evolution of Internet of Things. The expanding Internet of Things creates more opportunities for cybercrime. So many additional devices change the dynamics and size of what is sometimes called as cyber attack surface, that means the number of potential entry points for malicious actor. Next, increase in cloud services and cloud security threats. Cloud services offer a range of benefits such as scalability, efficiency, and cost saving. But they are also a prime target for attackers. Misconfigured cloud settings are a significant cause for data breaches, unauthorized access, insecure interfaces, and sometimes account hijacking too. Next, we have social engineering attacks getting smarter. Social engineering attacks like phishing are not new threats but have become more troubling and the widespread remote workforce. Nowadays, attackers target individuals connecting to their employer's network from home because they can make easier targets. And lastly, continued rise of AI. While AI presents a significant opportunity for more robust threat detection among businesses, criminals are also taking advantage of the technology to automate their attacks using data poisoning and model stealing techniques. Now that we have got to know about the recent trends, let us know how much the cybersecurity engineers are in demand. So we had done an extensive survey and found out that there are 14,000 plus job vacancies in India, whereas in the US there are more than 15,000 jobs available for a cybersecurity engineer. The major high-tech cities Bangalore and California have the highest job vacancies for cybersecurity engineers. Moving ahead with the salary package, then an average salary of a cybersecurity engineer in India is 6 lakh per annum and $101,580 per annum in US. Companies like IBM, Deloitte, TCS, Oracle, Cognizant, Accenture, Amazon, Capgemini, SIAC, and many others have a 
huge demand for cybersecurity engineers. Now that we have come to know the demand for cybersecurity engineer, let us know who is a cybersecurity engineer. A cybersecurity engineer is an IT professional who is responsible for maintaining the security aspects of computer and networking systems and perform various tasks such as designing and implementing secure networking solution, monitoring, troubleshooting, etc. How cybersecurity engineer helps the organization? A cybersecurity engineer helps the organization by assessing the organization's security requirement and setting up the best practices and standards in response, developing and deploying all security measures required to secure an organization, conducting regular testings and scannings to identify the vulnerabilities in the networks and the systems, performing regular penetration testing and taking an active role in the change management process. Next, let us know the job description and the skills required for the cybersecurity engineer. We searched numerous job descriptions from many organizations out of which we picked two job descriptions as a reference. So at first, we have Vodafone, which is a multinational telecommunication company. They had a requirement for cybersecurity engineer and their job description specified the tasks performed by a cybersecurity engineer such as following the cybersecurity baseline to deliver the tasks which support the execution of cybersecurity strategies, supporting the team to deliver the technical operation in the cybersecurity platform. They are also responsible to detect, identify, and respond to the cyber events, threats, risk, and vulnerabilities in the line with the management response plan. Let's look on to the another job description that is from Visa, which is an American-based multinational financial service corporation. Their job description specify the tasks such as implementation and continuous improvement of effective security controls, ensuring the correct and comprehensive functioning of server security technologies, working with the vendors to ensure time implementation of product updates and bug fixes, and many more. To become a cybersecurity engineer, you must be familiar with skills such as programming language, operating system, networking fundamentals and protocols, security aspects, web development, and CIDI tools. Apart from that, you should also be familiar to the tools such as Jenkins, Travis CI, GitLab, Shodan, Maltego, Netgraph, etc. Moving ahead with roles and responsibilities of a cybersecurity engineer, a cybersecurity engineer is responsible for tasks such as planning and implementing security measures of systems and networks, troubleshooting security and network problems, ensuring the protection of organization's data and infrastructure, being a part of daily administrative tasks with relevant departments in the organization, regular testing and identifying networks and system vulnerabilities, and responding to all system and network security breaches. At last, how do you become a cybersecurity engineer? So in order to become a cybersecurity engineer, you need to follow this roadmap, which shows you the step-by-step -step approach that you need to take. So the first step is that you should have a basic knowledge about programming languages such as Python, Perl, C, C++, Java, PowerShell, etc. Next, you should work on operating systems like Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Kali Linux, etc. Followed by networking fundamentals and protocols such as TCP IP, UDP, FTP, etc. After that, you should know about the security aspects followed by web development skills and at last, you should have an hands-on experience on tools such as Jenkins, GitLab, Travis, etc. This roadmap will surely help you reach to your destination easily. In order to start your career path in cybersecurity, you can check our Edureka YouTube channel and find all cybersecurity related sessions as well as you can also refer to our Edureka blogs related to cybersecurity. 
Apart from this, you can also enroll yourself to the Edueka's Cybersecurity Certification Training Program in order to learn from experienced industry professional, work on real-time projects, and become a certified expert. So here we come to an end. I hope you enjoyed this session and understood about cybersecurity engineer. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please leave a message in the comment section. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!